Welcome to SoGenomi.com. My name's Katrina and today I'm going to be working with the Digitizer Junior program. So what we've got on our screen here, so we've opened our Digitizer Junior program and we've got our machine selected here that we want to use. So we're going to use the 15,000 today. And the hoop that we're going to use is the SQ size 14 hoop. Our next step is to bring in our image that we want to digitize. So the image that we're going to use today is one that's provided with the program. So go up to image, select image. We're in our embroidery album. So this is the embroidery album that is provided with the program. We're going to select ladybird and press OK. As you can see now, we have the ladybird sitting centered in our hoop. You can see on the screen here that we've got these little squares, these little black squares around our design. What that indicates is we've got our image selected. So now what we're going to do is we're going to prepare this image so we can create stitches. So we're going to go up to our image preparation tool, click on that one. So the screen that's opened up here is our image preparation and what that does is it allows the program to recognize the different colors that are in the image. As you can see down here it says there are four colors available and you can reduce these colors if you like. So if we took that back to two colors you'll see that it's just got the white around the outside and the red. But we want everything in the ladybird so we're going to stick with four. So we're going to take that back up to four so it recognizes all our color changes. And we're going to press OK. So now that we've got our image prepared, you'll see here that these little icons are now lit up in color. So that means we can select them. So firstly, we're going to select our clip to parallel weave tool. So we're going to click on that one. And just so we can see it a lot better, we're going to zoom in. So we're going to go into about 150% so we can see our image nice and clearly. So the first step that we're going to do is we want to create the stitches for the red section. So once you slide your mouse over the section that you want to create stitches onto, you'll see that it creates this little grid effect. If you move it to a different section, it creates the grid effect for the background of the little circles. So we want to click on the red. So once you've got that section selected, we're going to click on the mouse. Move our mouse away from it, and now you can see that the red section is actually covered in stitches. So the next one we're going to do is we're going to do the black around here. So we check that we've still got our parallel weave tool selected and we click on the black selection. You can now see that the back black section is all created with stitches. Okay, And now we're going to complete that with the circles. And lastly, we want to create the eyes. If you wanted to, you could go and create a background for it, but we just want to leave our little lady beetle just the way she is. 